Mr Speaker. Simon O'Connor. Mr Speaker, one of the key themes that's been coming through in questions and through the talk today is about the economy, how it's been run. I would uh, definitely say in this government's hands it's been run very well and strongly. And a big part of that is actually we recognise, we recognise on this side of things. Gosh, they're already attacking Rob Muldoon, you know. I mean, he's one of the... One, I know, absolutely desperate. Well respected still in, uh, in the wonderful place of Tamaki. I think I've got that pronounced right. I'm a bit nervous now. Um, but look, one of the great things about this government is we actually recognise that economies go up and down. There are times where things are going really well and there are times where challenges kick in. Uh, and instead of holding up pieces of paper and trying to do, as was noted earlier, sort of seventh form, maybe fifth form uh, rhetoric and debating, this government gets on with the economy um, and supporting Kiwis where it matters. It's very easy to sort of just make these statements, but I thought something that would give uh, some example to it all is actually what's happening in Tamaki and around some of my uh, journeys of late uh, and around the country. And one element is that question of diversity in the economy. And I'm happy to report that actually we have a very strong economy well beyond dairy. It's obviously a, a big part of it, but I think of friends of mine involved actually in the gaming industry of all things, uh, who are producing remarkable new technologies uh, and gaming systems for people, not only for fun, but for education. I visited more recently the uh, Faculty of Medical Sciences at the uh, University of Auckland. Um, and you'll uh, forgive me for not remembering what exactly the ophthalmological condition is, but they've created a game there to actually help correct your sight, which can go out uh, to Kiwis for their treatment. Again, really neat stuff. I think of, if I can continue sort of the, the medical theme, of visiting in recent weeks those involved in digital health, everything from uh, Vigil to uh, Ryan to Simple IT, and an amazing array of Kiwis developing technologies which are not only going to help us, in fact, already is helping us uh, in ways that most members probably don't know because it just happens, um, but equally, this is um, IP, this is product that we are and can sell overseas, so some fantastic stuff happening there. But also diversity, when I think of my own electorate, is, is manifested in the new businesses uh, which have started up in, in recent weeks uh, in my area. I think of John and his, uh, it's called the Tin Man, a wonderful uh, little vehicle down on Felton uh, Matthew serving uh, Avenue, that is, Melton uh, Matthew Avenue. Yeah, no, this is a great one for spoonerism, really. But absolutely fantastic uh, coffee. Uh, there's a really neat new place in... They did indeed, indeed, that, no, that's gone now, but... Um, Thank you, Tim. We'll continue this dialogue here as I try to you know, address the nation. Um, you've got something called The Local, which has started in the St. Heliers Mall, a, a great new uh, cafe and business. And then just further up the road, you've got something called The Honest Food Company, working very much in the, the paleo and, and sugar-free uh, diet. Again, just three examples of new businesses starting out uh, in the electorate. But all of that also sits, I think, on having a strong uh, education system. Because as we've, as we've heard uh, in recent weeks, and particularly coming from the opposition, uh, when you know, they've been plagiarising material, first and foremost, there isn't the originality of ideas, and secondly, they haven't learnt the basic art of, of, um, of referencing one's work. So education is important, and in Tamaki, most recently, was very pleased to see that 40 new classrooms have been announced uh, for schools within Tamaki, the likes of St Thomas's, uh, Oraki, uh, school, Selwyn College, Tamaki College and Glen Dowie College. That's 40 new classrooms plus five further classrooms that are being renovated. So this is going to start happening over the last, uh, next rather, 18 months. Something I've been uh, very keen on, very aware, talking to the uh, boards and the teachers and the parents as well, that actually there's a growing need for these classrooms. Uh, yesterday, I think it was, there was an announcement of $156,000 into Tamaki, not just in Tamaki, but $156,000 uh, to facilitate the learning of um, Asian languages, which I think is tremendous. And again, that's benefiting quite a range of our schools. St Thomas's again, Churchill Park, St Helier's School, Koei Marama School, and then our two uh, colleges, Glendowie, and so on. Look, the, the value, the diversity, if you will, Mr. Speaker, of languages is, well, almost incalculable. Um, we know from the research that a child learning whatever language at a young age, it doesn't matter if it's English, Māori, Samoan, Tongan, uh, Latin, Greek, Mandarin, it's actually going to have real cognitive abilities. I'm slightly biased. I've learned six languages uh, in my life. Whether it's helped me or not, I'm not convinced completely. Um, but the other thing I'll just note is $13.1 uh, million dollars uh, for a cycleway in Tamaki from Glen Innes to Tamaki Drive. Again, great investment going on here, and I think it's just fantastic.